In this video, we're going to show you how to import a CSV file of your items into SkewGrid. If you are an eBay seller, it is best not to use Microsoft Excel as it will convert your eBay item numbers into scientific notations which SkewGrid cannot read. You can use Google Sheets or LibreOffice which are both free options. At a minimum, your CSV file should include the following headers for ease of use. Reference vendor underscore URL, vendor underscore variant, reprice underscore store, reprice underscore SKU, auto compare, and reprice underscore pause. The reference column is a free text field in which you can enter any text that you want that may help you identify the item. It's optional but may be useful to you. The vendor underscore URL column should contain all of your supplier URLs. The vendor underscore variant column should contain all of your supplier variations if there are any. The reprice underscore store column should contain the marketplace you are selling on. For example, Amazon underscore US, eBay underscore US, Amazon underscore UK, or eBay underscore UK to name a few. The reprice underscore SKU column should contain your eBay item numbers if you are an eBay seller or your ASIN number if you are an Amazon seller. The auto compare column should contain a 0 or a 1. If you want compare item URLs to automatically appear in your SKU grid account, you would enter a 1 for each row of data. If you do not want to use compare item URLs, then you should enter 0 for each row of data. The reprice underscore pause column should contain either a 0 or a 1. If you want your items to be paused when they import into SKU, meaning you do not want SKU Grid to start updating your price and or stock, then you would enter a 1 for each item. If you want SKU Grid to start updating your items after they import, then you should fill in this value with a 0. Once you've prepared your CSV file, you can log into SKU Grid. Click on Import Export. Click on Import CSV. On this screen, you will see all of the reprice underscore store values that can be used with SKU Grid. Again, these are the marketplaces that you sell on. You will also see all of the other column headers that can be used with SKU Grid in the event you want to use other columns and fill in more data. Click on the Choose CSV File button. You will be prompted to browse for and attach the CSV file that you've saved to your computer. Select your file and click Open. SKU Grid will start to import your items. Depending on how many items you have and server load, your import can take a while to process. Once it is finished processing, you will see a notification display with how many items have been imported. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.